Okay. Here's, here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? Mm, I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more Sorry crowded. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, no sé qué pasó. Perdí la conexión. Um, no problem. All right. Uh, go ahead. Uh, that's what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to practice the conversations. So I'm going to put you guys, uh, well, you could stay as a trio, and I want to listen to you uh, practicing the conversation. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Action. Okay. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask Ge me geography. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the question. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which, which South America capital city is the highest? The La Paz, Quito or Bogota? Mm, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay. All right. Good job, Majo. Good job, Patricia. Okay. Let, let me have Rebecca and Majo. This time you're going to be Wendy. Okay. And me, Mike? That's right. You're going to be Mike. Mike, here is uh, your gravy kit in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure, first question, which country is largest, China or Canada? I know, Canada is larger than China. Okay, next what? Next what? The closer river in the America. Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. That is river. There. Repeat. River. River. That's right. Okay. Mm, in. Um. Mm, I take it's the Mississippi. No. <laughs> <laughs> Here is her one with which country is more crown? Monconi or Singapore? Uh, that, that would be Monaco or Singapore. Monaco or Singapore? Mm, I am not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more with, with what American capital city is Hibis, La Paz, Kyoto, or Bogota? Bogota. Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Perfect. Applause for the participants. Okay. Good job. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to write a similar conversation to this one. You okay. are going to write the conversation here in the discussion forum. Okay. Similar to this one, you can change the cities, the rivers, etc. Okay. You will have 10 minutes. Okay.
Are you guys almost finished? You finished? Yes? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Maho. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Rebecca. Now we're going to look at the following one, which is a section of 4.1 lesson objective. By the end of the session, participants will know how to ask and answer questions using comparisons with adjectives. Al final de esta clase, sabrán cómo preguntar y consultar usando adjetivos comparativos. Let's check it out. Compar comparisons with adjectives. Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population, Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative, long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the, plus superlative adjective, plus noun or object. Study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long, and irregular adjectives, which you need to take into account when using them. Examples? He is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. All right, guys. So what we're going to do in this activity, you are going to come over here and you're going to give me two sentences per adjective. For example, right here where it says title, you're going to write your name. You're going to give me 10 examples. For example, number one, uh, let's say that I say the word Burger King. Burger King. 
is delicious. Burger King is delicious. If I say be Burger King is more delicious than McDonald's. So I'm going to use it as an a regular adjective. Then I'm going to use it as a comparative adjective. And finally, the superlative adjective. For example, gourmet burger is the most delicious do you understand yes do you understand rebecca maho yes yes so you're going to write three sentences yes. one using the adjective as a normal adjective the other one using it as a comparative adjective and finally, you're going to write it as the superlative adjective. So you're going to give me 10 examples, 10 sentences, using regular adjective, comparative adjective, and superlative adjective. You have 10 minutes. 10 minutes starting now. Ten minutes.
All right, all right. Time's up. Ya explotó la bomb. <laughs> now we're going to look at the following activity. Does anybody have any questions at this moment? No. All right. We're going to be looking at knowledge check. For the knowledge check, you're going to complete knowledge. one to five with comparatives and questions six to ten with superlatives. So from number one all the way to number five, you're going to complete it with a comparative. But numbers six through 10, you're going to complete it with a superlative. For example, number one says, oops, sorry. What happened here? For example, the first one says, which country is mm, Monaco or Vatican City? Small. And and it says small. So what would be the comparative? Smaller. Smaller. All right. Did everybody do this activity? Did you do the activity already? Yes. Everybody did it already? Yes. Okay. Let's do it together. Number two. What happened to my screen? Number two. Which waterfall is what is your answer? Highest. Highest or higher? Higher. Higher. That is correct. Higher. H I G H E R. The next one, number three. Which city is? Which city is? Who has the answer? Number three, which city is? Somebody? No. Nobody? More crowded. More crowded. All right, I want you to complete number four to number 10. You have five minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. If you already did it, you can continue to the next activity. Okay.
Hello, Gilbert, are you there? Gilbert, can you hear me? We are working on section 4.6, knowledge check. You're going to finish one through five with the comparatives and six through 10 with the superlatives. You have six minutes. Okay, teacher. Thank you.
All right, all right. Uh, let me have the answer for number four. One volunteer, number four. Number four. Nobody, number Which four. That is uh, repeat, please. Larger. Which leg is larger? Correct. Which leg? Larger is correct. Larger. The catchpin shoes are like super. That's right. And number five is more famous. Yes. Number six is the, the highest. Highest. Correct. Number seven is the longest. Number eight is the most expensive. Number 10 is the deepest. Number 10 is the driest. All right, guys, if you're not finished, that's going to be your homework for tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Bye. See you, teacher. Good night. Dreams. Bye-bye.